All right, so in the last video, we did the frequency response and step response for a left half plane pole. So now let's look at a right half plane pole. So here's our transfer function. H of j omega is equal to omega p divided by s minus omega p. So we see a sign change in the denominator, and that denotes that the pole is now in the right half plane. Now, if we go through a similar process, we can find the magnitude of the transfer function and the phase of the transfer function. All right, so from the magnitude of the transfer function, we see that it is the same as the magnitude of the transfer function for the left half plane pole. But we do see that there's a phase change for the phase of the transfer function. Now we have arctangent of omega divided by omega p, whereas before it was arctangent of minus omega divided by omega p. And this means that we're going to get a plus phase shift or a positive phase shift. Now we can do our Bode plots. Our magnitude response is exactly the same as it was for the left half plane pole. Our straight line approximation, we draw a straight line at zero dBs out to omega p, and then we have a straight line roll off at minus 20 dBs per decade of frequency increase. But our phase shift now starts at zero degrees. At omega p, it's plus 45 degrees, and well beyond omega p, it's 90 degrees. We can do a straight line approximation for this as well. And here's our plotted Bode plot uh, for the frequency response of our right half plane pole transfer function. More importantly now, let's look at what happens at a step function, or, or due to a step input. All right, so our step response again, y of s, the output, is equal to x of s, the input, times the transfer function. This is equal to 1 over s times omega p divided by s minus omega p. y of t is equal to the inverse Laplace transform of y of s. And if we take the inverse Laplace transform, looking this up from tables, we would find that this was equal to minus h of t, the heavy side step function, plus e to the omega p times t. Now here we immediately see a problem. This has exponential growth. So oftentimes people will tell you that a right half plane pole is automatically unstable, and this is the reason for it we see that it has uncontrollable exponential growth. Let's plot the step response. Here we put our input in, x of t, which is just a step function. And what we would see from y of t would be, it would first step down, and then it would grow exponentially, given by this e to the omega p of t. All right, so now we've looked at a left half plane pole and a right half plane pole in the transfer function. We've seen that the left half plane pole uh, results in an exponential response in the time domain that asymptotically approaches the uh, input step response, whereas the right half plane results in uncontrolled exponential growth. The right half plane pole results in uncontrolled exponential growth. So in our transfer functions, we can only tolerate having left half plane poles. In the next video, we'll look at our responses for zeros, uh, starting with a left half plane zero.